Um, uh, Missouri is not a team we mentioned. Uh, they went six and seven last year, three and five in conference. Uh, Basilak has has transferred out. Um, they they did have wins over South Carolina and Florida a year ago. They opened the season against Louisiana Tech on a Thursday night. Um, and look, uh, they're about where uh, prediction wise, they're about where Mississippi State is overall. They're just kind of voted towards the bottom third of their their division within the conference itself. Not a lot of juice there. Uh, Drinkwitz has done what he can to provide it through podium sessions and media uh, availabilities, and he's extremely open and honest. We haven't heard much from him this offseason until this week, Chad. That changed today. So Eli <laughs> Drinkwitz decided to go on the Jim Rome show, and uh, he had some things to say about Tennessee. This, I believe this is early in the interview, some things to say about Tennessee – and their NCAA trouble. So here is Eli Drinkwicks on with Jim Rome. I thought you were going to introduce my record, but with the latest allegations against Tennessee, let's hold up on what my record is because I expect them to vacate some wins, and that's going to help my record a little bit. Okay? Oh, man, this, so, is, this is getting be better. Easy. This is getting so much better. Can I ask you, I wasn't necessarily going to go there, but you would be the beneficiary of that. Can I, Since you brought it up, can I get your reaction to the latest allegations against Tennessee? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, me personally, I got to question my wife's commitment to winning. You know, I mean, I don't know how much she's committed if she's not engaging in some of these things. I didn't know that was fair play. So, uh, you know, we got to, you know, it was a little bit surprising to see the uh, in-depth nature of what was going on there. Uh, but I, I am sure glad that Tennessee was taking some ownership of it. And, and uh, we'll see what the results are, um, you know, but uh, it's pretty interesting for sure. My man, if I were you, I'd walk off right now, and then you can go down as the best guest ever. Eli, one more thought about that. It's one thing to say that I didn't know that my wife could get involved and help me cheat. Well, that's not what you said, but I'll say that. Even better, that she did, did she not used to have some sort of compliance responsibility where she had been previously as well? One thing to have the wife involved, but what if she was involved also in compliance and making sure that they follow the rules, allegedly? How much better is that make it i mean it's uh shoot pressure you know pressure does crazy things to people and uh you know there's a lot of pressure to win in the sec so that's i don't know that's that's crazy he came in blazing there uh eli drinkwitz on Jim feeling so it. A, couple, feeling it. a couple things the line about i question my wife's commitment to winning is fantastic Great. that's really funny uh from him clearly came into the interview ready to take a shot at Tennessee, and there's a reason he's doing that, right? He's he's doing it because he's trying to get some attention and take down Tennessee a notch. Um, but I'll, I'll also say, Eli, if you're going to go in, go all in. Don't stop there. Old Jim Rome gave you an opening to go after Jimbo Fisher in Florida State where Jeremy Pruitt met his wife when he said, didn't she work in a compliance or recruiting office somewhere else when they met? What do you think about that? And he he shuts it off then because he knows Jimbo's probably going to go scorched earth on him <laughs> if he does that. But I do love the line. One about, guy's employed. But the story I question my wife's commitment to winning. I didn't know that was that was fair game uh, in all of this. Now we also must say that he's zero two against Tennessee. He lost his one game against Jeremy Pruitt, and he's saying they're going to get that game back because Tennessee may vacate that game. We have a stance on vacations on this show when it comes to NCAA rulings. If they happen, they happen. The game happened. You got beat bad in Knoxville. The game happened one time against Josh Heupel. You came into that game, I believe, as a slight Vegas favorite. You were down 28-3 to after one quarter at home, and you lost 62-24 to to Josh Heupel in Tennessee this year. So I would maybe back up the truck well, just I, a bit. It was a night.